Hi guys and welcome back to a new episode of Pete's Cookhouse. Today um, we're carrying over. We did two episodes in one and this is the second one that we're doing. Uh, so if you've seen the last episode where the uh, uh, Burger King uh, Roadhouse crispy chicken sandwich, well we're carrying this over so we're continuing. What we're going to be doing is an item from KFC that I don't think exists anymore, does it? Does it still exist? Fancy? No, the, the, the item. The double dog? Yeah. The double dog. Does it still exist? Well, or no? It says it does. Okay, well. It says it exists. We're doing something that if you look at the pictures, okay, first of all, the name of it is the double down dog. And it looks like something that you, you probably wouldn't even feed to your dog. No, the thing is disgusting. It well, is. What, it, what it is, is um, a chicken breast, like, flattened out, like, uh, I'll show you. It's already pre-made. It's flattened out, and that is used as a bun. So, initially, the double-down sandwich from KFC, which was something popular, was two pieces of chicken, and in the middle had uh, sauce, bacon, and um, a little bit of condiment. So, basically, the chicken was acting as your bun for the sandwich. Now... They tried to recreate the same thing with the double down dog. So it's a piece of chicken with a hot dog in the middle and some kind of funky cheesy sauce that goes on top of it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the idea because I like the idea of the, the, the chicken and the hot dog, but I'm going to I'm going to work on it. I'm going to make it try to make it better somehow where it, it looks it will look edible. It'll look uh, um, like appetizing, if you want to say it. And um, the only things that are going to be original to the first will be the chicken and the hot dog. That's it. Uh, for the rest, I'm changing methods on what I'm going to be doing and what I'm going to be adding to it. So first thing is first, um, we're going to boil our hot dog. We're just going to get it hot and cooked. It's a regular hot dog. We're going to boil it. Once it's boiled, we're going to wrap it in bacon. See where I'm going there? We're going to wrap the dog in bacon, and we're going to pan fry it. And then we're basically going to build. That's the whole extent of it. So the, um, the chicken part of it is done. It's this here. It's deep fried. It has the uh, breading on it, and it's long enough for the hot dog. So when we are going to hold it, we're going to hold it like a hot dog bun. So this is it, and uh, we're just going to throw some onion rings from the previous episode into the uh, presentation, and it's going to be nice and dandy. So uh, with that said, we I'll get all the stuff I need. We're going to start boiling a hot dog. And then uh, we'll build. We're going to be building. We're going to add stuff, and uh, hopefully, hopefully it's it tastes good, right? Is this version of the double down featured a Belgian waffle seasoning, chicken fillet, and used maple syrup? Well, we're not doing that one. I know. I just that I just couldn't trust that. I mean, it, it's it, in Canada. Maybe next episode. Yeah. A Belgian waffle. Yeah, Belgian waffle. Between two seasoned chicken fillet and then the maple flavor. That actually sounds good. Maple syrup in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, how about maple syrup barbecue sauce? Actually, that sandwich returned to Canada in March 2018. Where is it now? Gone? <laughs> All right, guys, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back. So, really simple. Um, boiling some water, or you grab your wiener, put it in a little hot water tub here, and cook it that way. Uh, once it's all cooked internally uh, properly, I know you can eat this thing raw anyways, it doesn't matter, but uh, in order to like add a little bit more flavor to it, we're gonna, we're gonna boil it. You can 
we're going to do an episode on just hot dogs eventually down the road. So you can, three ways of doing it. You can boil it, you can steam it, uh, you can, actually there's four ways. Uh, you can deep fry it, not deep fry it, sorry, you can uh, pan fry it, and you can just put them on the barbecue, which is the most common in the summertime. But we'll do an episode down the road on just hot dogs, the three best hot dogs that are out there. We're going to recreate those. Um, and that's what I kind of like got the idea from doing this too. Um, there is, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be boiling this. Once it's boiled, like I said, we're going to wrap bacon around it. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to go. I don't have any toothpicks. Huh? No, pig in a blanket isn't a pastry. Right? Well, let's put it in your comments. What do you think? Is pig in the blanket pig wrapped in bacon or pig wrapped in a um, pastry? I say pastry. I say Write the comments. Write what you think. We'll see. It's a family debate. So, we're not going to call it a pig in a blanket. We're going to call it a wiener wrapped in bacon. Better? Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And once we're, we got it right, I don't have, like, the thing is, I don't have any toothpicks for this, so I don't know how well the, the bacon is going to stay wrapped around it. But we're going to try our best to, like, hold it, sear it in the pan, and make sure that, you know, it stays together uh, for the duration. And once we take it out of the pan, when it, like, cools off a little bit, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to be wrapped properly. It's going to be fine. So while this thing is boiling, um, we're going to be doing a couple of things. So we need a sauce for this. And what I also want to do is add a little bit of, um, like, lettuce, like uh, iceberg lettuce to it. Because the original one doesn't have anything. It's it's like a, a piece of chicken, a wiener, and uh, some disgusting cheese sauce that basically looks like it's, like, watered down. So I don't even know if it's spicy or anything. But anyways, um, we're going to make our own like we did previously a little um, creamy barbecue sauce with a little bit of um, smokiness to it because you know it all goes good together with chicken and wieners <laughs> a little bit of tomatoes on there too diced tomatoes and uh, we'll give it a try I mean why not it's cheap it's easy it's fun we're having you know it's a family day. Chicken and wieners. There you go. All right. Well, enough of these shenanigans. Our wieners almost cooked. It's good. We're getting there. So we're going to turn the heat off. We are going to I'm just going to switch over put this on here because this is where it's going after next now let's try to do this without burning ourselves Maybe like a see that would be a smart thing to do very smart thing to do that's what you have to do that's right because behind every good man there's a better woman Yes, dear. It's it's not so much the wiener that is hot. It's what? Oh, please, will you? She's looking at this little wiener bit that's sticking out. You're not helping. Okay. Huh? There. That's going to be our... There you go. That's good, huh? Okay. So, 
No. Out of the hot water into the frying pan. Boom, boom. Okay. Start our pan. And we're going to get this nice little, not no, like char, but a nice little browniness to it. Yeah, I didn't have any toothpicks, I know. Because I wasn't planning on doing this, but I am now. So, grab all of it carefully, put it in your frying pan, and hopefully it does its thing without falling apart. I need tongs. I need two tongs. Give this a quick clean. So, if, yeah, a lot of people have noticed uh, we are in an RV right now. That's by choice because we live in Canada and our economy sucks. The interest rates are through the roof, so everybody knows about this, but interest rates is through the roof. Um, our mortgage was due, and it was going to be sky high, so we made the uh, smart decision to basically sell the house, get rid of it, because it was going to drag us under. Bought an RV, and until the interest rates come back down to normal, this is our home. I mean, it's not a 10. <laughs> it keeps us warm and keeps you guys entertained. So, now, let's keep an eye on this. We're going to have to flip it. Which way? This way. There. Now, if you want to make your life a lot easier, like my wife said, toothpicks. Put it through it, and then you won't have any problems you're going to use. You're only going to need one tong to flip them, not two. Very good. Thanks. So while this is doing its uh, little thing, little magic, don't need to add any butter to it or any of that because the bacon is already fatty as it is. Uh, and uh, you don't want to just make it too runny. So the good thing about pre-cooked bacon is that once you have it, uh, you cook it a little bit, it gets a lot crispier. And um, it, it's... it's a nice crunch to it once it's but I really like it because this this kind of stuff is uh, really thin and it really doesn't take that long I mean you put it in the microwave for a, a minute ten and it it falls apart when you grab it so great for salad great for sandwiches great for people that don't want to chew on a piece of bacon uh, like a really thick piece of bacon some people like it their thick piece of bacon do have their place but in this particular case you just want to chew through it and eat it and not be stuck half an hour later still chewing on your bacon. So keep on one last turn on this, like that. And then we're going to take that out and we're going to build. So let me bring some stuff here. I'm just going to turn the heat off of this because that's pretty much done. All right. Uh, we are going to need this. We're going to plate it in this. Perfect double down holder. All right. Our pre made chicken that we did earlier, we deep fried it. Uh, I tried to get it as much as, a, as in shape as possible. Uh, and basically, what I did is I put it in the corner of the basket and dunk it sideways. So it gave me kind of like the, the bun shape. And uh, <coughs> sorry for the coughing. All right, so we have the shape. We have this is done. Um, I'm just going to put it on a paper towel for now. <coughs> there's going to be a lot of editing. So there's going to be a lot of editing. My coughing from my cold. Okay, so put that on a paper towel so it sucks, uh, it sucks up the um, excess oil. Uh, excuse me. All right, now we're going to be making our sauce. 
So, we need our mayo. We need our barbecue sauce. You can add a little bit of hot sauce if you desire. I do not desire. Yes, that's uh, Jack's there. He's anxious. He wants a taste of it. Give me some. So, right, same procedure as before. Uh, one part mayo. You don't need a lot because it's just this. One part barbecue sauce. You can use your own barbecue sauce. You can buy your barbecue sauce. I bought barbecue sauce because I didn't have time to make my own. I guess I would have used my own. And smoked paprika. And that, again, is to taste. You can add some cay cayenne power. Power? Power. Cayenne power. <laughs> you can add some of that. Or how about some cayenne powder? So, a bit of this. Uh, you can add some Frank's hot sauce if you want. You know, go crazy. This is, this is like, all right, it carries the double down name, but it's not a double down. It's way better. What would you call it? Double down, but better. Double down, but better. Good God. What? How about more oomph to it? More like, double down, dog. Well, I, don't have that kind of I only have it because I got a cold. That's there you go. <laughs> so, give this thing a mix. And then, naturally, we're going to want some lettuce on this. And tomato. So, we have our sauce. We have a dog. We have our double down pat patty bun, whatever. Now, we're going to get some lettuce, iceberg lettuce. Um, you don't want it leafy. Why? Because you take a bite out of it and the whole thing follows. I like to shred it. Like, I like to. Uh, mince it into like really fine um, fine strands so you can do it with a mandolin I like to do it with a knife you get yourself a little bit just take this layer off here now like that that's pretty much all you need for this amount tomato same thing you're gonna need one slice of it and then you're just gonna cube it Cube it. Cube it. All right, tomato. Come here. Come on, get out here. Now, our tomato. It's a hat. And we're just going to take not even a quarter inch slice. It's like just that's it. That's all you need. Now, if you're making a lot more. This famous double down dog cooks and uh, Pete's cookhouse extraordinaire mm -hmm. concoction. Then you know what? Make more because you're going to need more. Once people try this, they're going to want it. They're going to KFC are going to wish that they would have brought it back this way, you know, but they won't. What's that? I am because one day, one day. Pete's Cookhouse will be out on the road. It will be at the fairs. That I guarantee you. And my wife and I will be there. She'll be taking your money and I'll be cooking your food. <laughs> so these things here that I'm doing on every episode are going to be stuff that I'm being, going to be putting out on the uh, Pete's Cookhouse. Right? Yeah. All right. So... The plan, that's the plan, eventually. It's kind of like a, a retirement plan where uh, down the road what we want to do is basically during the summertime go out to fairs and um, have our little food trailer and cook up stuff that we've done in the shows, like the uh, uh, the maple, maple barbecue quarter pounder with cheese and bacon that we did, the, the, our version from McDonald's. The uh, pulled pork sandwiches, all that good stuff. Yeah, the hot honey McCrispy sandwich. Huh? We're going to do the farmer's wrap to our version of it. Um, you know, and eventually we're probably going to add some desserts to it. Um, 
just right now, we're kind of like, <laughs> yeah, you're going to see, you're going to laugh when you see this, but just a sec. So one of the reasons why I haven't made any desserts or pastry or stuff like that is down here is our oven. Okay. It's, you can't even fit a chicken in here. No. That's how big it is it. So you, if you're planning on making a cake, well, good luck. So we will eventually buy a second oven that will be replacing that little toaster oven that we have in, in the corner there. And, um, yeah, you know, give it time. We'll get there. All right. So now we build. So everything's set. Everything is done. We got that. So we will add a layer of our sauce in here. But I hope this is going to be good. Now, like that. Should have made a little bit more. Okay, that goes there. Now, rid of this. In that, in that. Okay. Now we take our hot dog. Hang on. Take our hot dog with our bacon. Place it in here. This is looking good so far. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Take our lettuce, iceberg lettuce. Put it on top of there, like that. And we take our tomato finely diced and just do this like that a little bit more because we are not cheap and now we finish off with a little bit of drizzle on top I will post in the video what the double down dog looks like the real one, and beside this one here, and you will notice the big difference. That, my friends, is the Double Down Dog Pete's Cookhouse version. Better. Way better. A lot better. So, let me clean up, and uh, I'll be right back, and we're going to do a taste test on that thing. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're back. Um, I tried to get my granddaughter to come over and give it a taste, taste test, but she's, she doesn't want to be on YouTube. She doesn't want to be a star like her grandpa. Anyways, so I'm going to take a small bite out of it, and I'll review, I'll give my honest review on it. And trust me, if it does suck, I will let you know. And I'll tell you, don't make it. It's a, yeah, it's, it's a waste of time. Uh, but if it is good, hey, you know, why not? I don't think it's not going to be good. I think it will be good. Um, no, I just threw this for the little picture presentation. These are onions that we made earlier. So I'm going to put them back here. Um, because I'll be sending this to my granddaughter afterwards when you know once I've done this um, I'm just gonna cut a piece of it and get everything on here so sauce is good grab the fork now sausage bacon the, the wiener it's a wiener Wiener, bacon, chicken, lettuce, tomato, everything's on here. This is my bite. All right, down the hatch. Perfect. Everything pretty much blends in together. Now we're starting to get the hot dog taste. 
which, you know, like every hot dog has a little bit of smokiness to it. Chicken is good. The sauce is great. All right, the only thing I foresee about this, it doesn't hold well together. It's like a, it's going to be a messy job to eat. It's a, it's a fork and knife job. Not so much like chicken being the bun kind of deal. But taste-wise, thumbs up. This is good. Give it a try. You know, you, you're you're going to like it. I'm going in for the rest of the chicken. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit the notification button if you haven't. And hit the like button. The uh, like button? <laughs> hit the lightning button. <laughs> hit the like button. Just smash it. Smash that damn thing. Give me a lot of likes. Hey, I like you guys. Why not? So, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode.